Number two then from the 2017 Advanced Term Maths. Here we go. Partial fractions, four marks. Seeing the partial fractions there means probably you're not going to get one later on in an integral which could have been worth more marks. Ah, but you should still get these four marks quite easily. What have we got? Well, there are two linear denominators, but one of them is a repeated one. So don't forget to have this one down twice. A over x plus 1, yep. B over x minus 2, but also C over the same again squared. That would be the first mark. Now, multiplying it all out then. Multiplying throughout by this. I'm just going to write it over here though. So, A's got that already, so A's going to need the oops, I can't say properly, x minus 2 squared. B's got one of those, so it still needs this one, and it still needs one of those. C's got both of them, so it just needs x plus 1. That's just multiplied through here. Multiplying this side, of course, just leaves you with the numerator. So imagine that would be the next mark. So there's two marks left, so it's not going to be a mark each for A, B and C. Right, which one first? Well, there's Two possibilities here, 2 and negative 1. We'll go for negative 1 first. If x is negative 1, those terms disappear and you're just left with this one here. That's going to be negative 3 squared is 9. So you'll have 9a, but now you've got to do some calculation here. I'll just write them all down. So it's 1, that'll be plus 6, plus 20, which is quite handy because it's 27. And 9 goes in nicely. 9 to 27 goes 3. Another knockout value would be 2. When x is 2, that'll disappear and that'll disappear and you'll have 3 lots of c. But I'll have to feed that through though. So when x is 2, I'll just put them all down, you'll have 4 minus 12 but plus 20. Well, that means you've got 8 away from 20 which is 12, which means that when you divide it by 3, c is going to be 4. For the last one, I'm not going to do that, pick a number, I'm just going to examine what I've got here and compare the x squared terms because on this side the only way of getting x squared would be I'd have a lots of x squared here and b lots of x squared here to make one lot of x squared there you already know that a is 3 I'll just put it down again 3 plus b is 1 so that means b must be negative 2 Now it's just a case of putting it all together so that we've got 3 over x plus 1, b, minus 2 over x minus 2, c, plus 4 over x minus 2 squared.